let's welcome to the show someone who actually made an impact in that yes, game and what an impact it was. Stefan Fry is with us. I imagine it's what everybody wants to talk to you about, isn't it, Stefan? That save in the final, it was, it, it's still unbelievable. Uh, yeah, mo most, most people do bring up the save. Either, either they want to talk about that or they want to see my star tattoo. Uh, have you watched it back a lot? Uh, I've seen it now and then, yeah. Um, it's been uh, uh, quite nice, uh, the montage that uh, MLS put together. There's been some really nice articles written about it. Um, and whenever I'm feeling down, obviously, it's, it's nice to, to look at a, at a decent save you've had in a, in a crucial moment to, to kind of lift up your spirits. The single greatest defensive play in MLS Cup history. And you talk about these moments that you want to watch that play when you're feeling low. I'm sure there was a moment last week when you let in that howler that it went in. At halftime, you asked something of your teammates. What did you ask? Uh, well, first, first of all, I came in the locker room and, uh, and told them, obviously, raised my hand, told them I, I screwed up. And uh, I asked them to step up for me, who, who, who was willing to, to bail me out, if you will. I knew uh, guys were, you know, if I would challenge them, they would step up. Um, we had had a decent game up to, leading up to my mistake. Um, and obviously, uh, against the run of play, that was difficult. That threw us out of a rhythm a little bit. But um, I, I knew that we had enough quality to kind of get back into the game. And... Uh, and we showed it. Obviously, we can't go down 3-0 at home, but uh, still, um, a tremendous show of heart uh, uh, on my team's part. I don't mean to bang on about the mistakes, Stefan, but I, I just want to ask you, from a psychological point of view, as a goalkeeper playing in front of tens of thousands of people, how do you get over making that sort of howler? Um, you just got to get forget it. Uh, first and foremost, you got to get for, for, forget about it right away because uh, and, and as you saw in that last game, I had to make a save probably three or four minutes right after that. So, uh, you know, if you make that one mistake, make sure you leave it at that one and don't let that one mistake turn into a second or a third one. Um, and then in, in the long term, you know, you obviously go through uh, footage, you, you try to uh, um, learn from it, but then um, check it off, move on, um, look at some good, good saves you've made in the past, uh, rebuild that confidence. Um, that's the thing about a goalkeeper, you know. Um, you know, it, it's not my first mistake, and unfortunately, it won't be my last mistake. Uh, that's just the nature of the sport. But uh, keep working hard at it, and 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 uh, you'll have another opportunity next game to to prove what you're worth. You talk about that amnesia you need to have, that psyche. What changed in the psyche of the team being 3-0 down, 15 minutes left, for them to go forward and get that result? Uh, it helps being at home and having 40-something thousand people screaming and cheering you on. Uh, obviously, uh, we were really happy to be back home again um, after having played a few games on the road. Uh, with that being said, you want, you want to make those games count. So uh, we were happy to be home, uh, not happy to find ourselves three to, uh, down 3-0. But, um, you know, we, we, we were down 2-0 in Montreal. And, and I think we've, we, 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 we kind of uh, rec recalled that, that, that knowledge we gained from that game and uh, knew that, you know what, if we just get one, who knows what's going to happen, and we did get one, and then uh, I think you could sense that New, uh, New England was, uh, was panicking a little bit, and uh, you know, we smelled blood, if you will, and, and wanted to make sure that we would get back into the game. Is there a slight concern going into this weekend's tie against Toronto that maybe they'll be looking for a bit of revenge? They were not happy with the fact that they lost MLS Cup with Seattle not even having a shot on target. Um, Certainly. Um, obviously, they're, gonna, they're still going to be bitter about uh, us uh, essentially stealing the trophy away from them in front of their fans, right? So, uh, um, you know, that's, that's just how it's going to be. Um, I feel like we've, we've faced a lot of teams that are, that are out to, to uh, get us uh, as the reigning champions. Um, we saw uh, the way we played in, um, in Vancouver, for example, what it meant to them to hold on to that result. Um, that's just what it is when you're reigning champion. So uh, I think um, Toronto is firing on all cylinders. Obviously, they have a, a very dangerous pair up top, um, and we've got to limit their chances, uh, especially those two guys, um, and, and keep playing our game. I think we have a strong team this year, and uh, we've played some good games, but uh, it'd, be, it'd be awesome to, uh, to put a solid, um, a solid effort together from, from front to back um, and get a good result against uh, arguably one of the better teams in the league. Final question before you let you go. Has anyone even noticed that Hercules isn't there, Evan? <laughs> uh, that Hercules is what? <laughs> that he's not even involved in the club. He took all the credit. We see him crowd surfing here in the, in the parade afterwards. And let's face it, he was just... We, <laughs> we missed ball, we miss ball ball the end. Oh, we I miss Herc over here. He's, I miss that beard. A, I miss that he, beard. He's a character in the locker room, and uh, you know, you you need you need those guys, those fun guys. Even and, and I said this uh, uh, numerous times. You know, there's 
there's people, veterans, most, most, uh, most of the time it turns out to be that are very, very crucial. Uh, even if they're not going to see the pitch uh, um, that much, um, they bring that hunger day in and day out. Uh, they're, they're a joy to have around in the locker room. And those, those people are vital. And, and Herc was a, a vital part with Zach Scott, for example, uh, to get us that trophy last year. Stephen Fry, thank you so much.